There is so much to celebrate in October. Here in my household, we start the month with my husband's birthday, which sometimes involves a Disney trip. This year did not. However, we did get to go to Boston. Then we run right into Callie's birthday, which is what you're here for, or at least partially. And then we have Halloween. So it's like every two weeks, we are celebrating something exciting. Here's what's in store for you in this week's video. We're going to kick off this video with the creation of Callie and my niece's boo baskets, which is something that's become an annual tradition. This was not something that ever happened when I was a child. My family didn't do boo baskets, but I'm always looking for ways to like make a holiday more magical. So for Halloween, besides the dressing up, and we've been celebrating Halloween since August, if you've been with us because we were in Disney World for the opening night of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So this is the longest we've ever celebrated Halloween. That's starting with the boo baskets that she and her cousins will be getting this week. And then we are moving into not one, but two very differently themed birthday parties for Callie's eighth birthday. One of my goals of this channel is to support other women-owned companies, brands, products, etc., which is why you'll see Slumberkins in here today, in addition to local businesses. So I live on Cape Cod. It is a very small year-round community. So anything that I can do to like heighten other businesses or other women who I think are doing incredible work, like why wouldn't I want to support them? For Callie's birthday parties, plural, this year, we are doing a family party here at the house, Harry Potter themed, because that's what we're going as for Halloween this year. And then the next day, we are headed to see the Eras Tour movie in our local cinema pub. And this was kind of a process for anyone who's ever planned a birthday party, a party of any kind, a social gathering that involves vendors. This was a little bit of a process because we could rent out a movie theater and play whatever movie we wanted. That was the original plan pre-Taylor I'm making this announcement. And so we were going to rent out an entire theater, get all her cute little friends dressed up in their Harry Potter best. Family comes, one party, cake, show the first Harry Potter movie, birthday party complete, magic. Then Taylor Swift made this announcement about the Eras Tour coming to movie theaters. And Callie said, no, obviously I want to do that. Like, of course, she's my daughter, right? This makes sense. But you can't rent out the whole theater because it's a special particular like movie premiere. So we had to buy up just like half the adult tickets and half the kid tickets at one time. So it was more of a process and our local cinema pub has been so accommodating with the ticket purchasing process, but also allowing Callie and I to show up an hour early to exchange tickets, to talk about how they're going to do food for our guests and wait to get in first so that we could reserve seats for kids because the way that the stadium seating is done, we wanted the kids in the front so that if adults wanted to dance and stand behind them, the kids wouldn't miss anything. So we were quite literally in the first four rows of the theater. By the way, I am filming this intro after all of these exciting events have taken place. So you're going to see a journey from Harry Potter here at the house to Taylor Swift. For the family party, it's all of Callie's cute little girly cousins, my nieces, who are getting the boo baskets. I'm going to be giving them as their party gifts. So you'll see that come together. And the only thing that I'm not making is the cake. Callie has requested a Harry Potter face cake. So we went to a local bake shop to have that done. If you are looking for resources and you are in or around the Falmouth Cape Cod area, I'm going to leave all of our vendors linked in the description box below. I hope you will use uh, utilize local vendors wherever you are because I think that brings, you know, some lifeblood into the community. Without further ado, Let's get into the Halloween birthday celebration activities. Because Callie's birthday happens in the smack dab middle of the spookiest month of the year, October, 
I also wanted to show you in this video how I'm putting together a boo basket for her as well as my nieces and a reigning annual piece that she looks forward to now in her boo basket is from Slumberkins. I have loved this brand for such a long time and I purchased Slumberkins both the cuddly little creatures and the books for pretty much every new mom I've known in my time of being a mama. Slumberkins is founded by two women whose goal is to create and elevate social emotional intelligence in our kiddos. I absolutely love that they have different crews. That's kind of how they group their certain animals together. Callie has both the unicorn and the narwhal. We read the books. She has the affirmation cards on her mirror. I love that they are empowering my daughter to be more resilient, more confident, and accept her own very big emotions. This year, they've also come out with a Halloween collection that I'm very excited to show you. The idea behind this collection is to empower our littles to know that being scared is okay and help them identify that feeling through both the cuddly little plushies as well as the books. As a teacher and a mama, I love that Slumberkins has taken the opportunity to see Halloween as an educational tool to talk about feelings of bravery and fear. So I wanna show you some of my favorite products that they've come out with this season to open those conversations. Here are all the Halloween special editions minis. These are honestly so stinking cute. So all of these little minis, they do come with an affirmation, I follow my brave heart. And you can buy the book separately, but this is the mini little pumpkin hedgehog. The little special mini witch owl with a little broom and her tiny little witchy hat. The spider mini. And he has these little like tiny little legs that kind of retract when you pull them. He's the cutest darn spider I've ever seen. This little guy is called the mini ghost floof. Look at this floofy little tail. Also, these are so soft. And then we have the happy mini bat and he glows in the dark. There's a new character collection in this series called Mr. Bones. And his slumberkin friends come to life after dark and they play throughout the night. This particular storyline is promoting mindfulness, imagination, and critical thinking. So there is a separate book that you can purchase, but I want to show you the guys in this collection. This is Vlad. Look, he's supposed to be like a little Dracula. He's super soft, and he comes with his own card and affirmation about the Mr. Bones collection. And this is Frank Kin. He glows in the dark also a part of the Mr. Bones collection. Super soft and you can see the size difference when comparing like the mini to a full size. The second new collection this year is from the Halloween Fright collection. This is the special edition Yeti Mummykin. He also glows in the dark. And the last little slumberkins that I have to show you also comes from the Halloween Fright Collection. And this guy glows in the dark. He is the alien slothkin. And while you can get the little books, there are actually hardcover real books that you can purchase that tell the story of these cuddly creatures as well as messages of bravery and affirmation. So I know I'm going to be putting these two books in Callie's boo bag, but I can't decide which of these cute Lumberkins should go to her versus her cousins. That's something that we're going to work out together. I am going to show you the rest of everything going in her particular boo basket. So let's get to that. Oh, and lastly, Slumberkins, because their moms who own it figured out what these products were being used for mostly, and they have a $10 boo basket that you can get off their website that glows in the dark. So I thought this one would be super cute for one of the cousins because I don't think it's gonna be big enough for Callie. I am filming a TikTok here, so apologies for that being in the background. Let's see if I can cover that up. I will be using, reusing actually, this boo bag from last year from Callie's birthday which was Hocus Pocus themed. That was our Halloween. We tend to do Halloween and birthday the same theme, though this year Halloween is going to be Harry Potter themed and her birthday is Taylor Swift themed. So 
We have multiple differing themes, but I'm just going to reuse this bag, which says things like, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus, trouble is brewing. And I immediately took the filling from the Slumberkins box and put it at the bottom and that will be covered. I have like cute things to go on top of that, but just to give the bottom of the bag a little structure. So I'm going to start layering. So one of the things that she actually knows is going in this bag are these incredibly soft PJs that we picked up at TJ Maxx. They have like the skeleton on them. They glow in the dark. They have some Halloween candy. I'm actually going to put these at the bottom because I know she knows to expect these. On top of that, I am putting this year's kit. So last year we had a Cinderella version of this. This basically means that you paint a pumpkin and then you can push this into it. I wish that these had existed or I had seen them last year since our theme was Hocus Pocus, but you can't really go wrong with this. Like she loved the Cinderella one. We actually have it displayed downstairs. I will insert a little video clip of it here, but I think this will be nice, especially if we can do that with a foam pumpkin because then we can use it from year to year. These are like a Callie Craig staple. We love a good window cling, especially with a cute little witch on it. I hope you can see her in the glare. Also, I think I've mentioned this in other boo basket, tinsel, Christmas videos. I tend to buy all of these things when they're on sale, either the year before, or a lot of them are like one to $5 from the Target one to five dollar range bin or from walmart or even from the dollar store like none of this was particularly expensive so i don't want you to think if you want to make a boo basket that it has to be gross money an example of that is this one dollar light up necklace from the target circle section taller target dollar spot target bullseye zone you know what i'm talking about and recently i picked up these tights for girls ages six to 10 or whomever wants to wear tights from a local thrift, thrift shop for like $2.50. So not breaking the bank. One thing I am always happy to spend money on are books. So she's going to be getting both of these Slumberkins books and they will be added to her Halloween book collection. I found this sweatshirt at Walmart for $11. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And I love during the week of Halloween to try to get all of her outfits to be Halloween themed. So this will be added to the collection this year, especially because we brought down her Halloween clothes, like her Halloween pajamas, some of her Halloween skirts and tops, and they were all sixes and she's now an eight, one year later. So we do need to replace these things because our children just grow so quickly. Another pumpkin painting activity, love these. So I actually bought one of these for Callie and one for my classroom. These are those ASMR slugs. This one's in Halloween colors. I don't think you can see it, but his head does light up. And now it is time to choose which slumberkins Callie will be receiving for Halloween. So the spider is for sure, because Callie recently this year held a tarantula in her hands. And I'm thinking about this cutie pie from the Halloween Fright Collection, because he's just so darn cute and there are Yeti related rides in Disney that I think she'll remember. So these two are gonna go in her boo basket as well. And then the last item, besides like some top items of little bitty things, I actually purchased off TikTok this tumbler. I will leave the link in the description box below as well as all of the Slumberkins links. But this is a Russian nesting doll. So I'm gonna give Callie this middle one, but also there's like a baby one inside. So I'll give that to one of the nieces, but I just thought that these were so cute. So this will be going in her boo basket as well. Let me show you the finished product. I've added a cozy layer as I've been building boo baskets. Look how cute they are, especially the one in the little slumberkins. Sidebar with me for a moment. As a weight loss surgery patient, because can we have a video without talking about weight loss surgery? Probably not. But as a weight loss surgery patient, I have never had, I don't have caffeine, I don't drink caffeine, and I've never had coffee. My whole life, I'm 38, I've never ordered a coffee, drank a coffee. I like the way it smells, I've brewed it. I've made myself pumpkin tea. All over TikTok, there's this iced 
pumpkin chai latte recipe and I went to Starbucks and I got the littlest one they would let me get, which also I had to look up online what is the smallest size and how do I order that. This is a tall. This is so good. It tastes like pumpkin spice vanilla sugar, which I'm sure it is. I'm gonna see later how I feel after having this level of caffeine where what I usually drink is wine or water. This is so good. I want to like lick this foam. That foam is magic. I have been missing out on this every fall and I've always wanted to be the pumpkin spice latte. Like, is there a Christmas version of this that I might like if I like this? If you're a Starbucks gal, a basic human like me, can you put it in the comments below? This is the most like normal. Mm, mm, let's just. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Definitely a little decadent treat. This is the finished. Oh dear. Finished product of the boo bag. Now I'm giving the girls, my nieces their boo bags on Callie's birthday, which is upcoming and you'll get lots of peeks at that. So I think I have to give Callie hers as well because there's a lot of like similarities. So I might put this outside her door or I'll ask her if she wants her boo bag separate from her birthday presents, but I might put this outside her door on Friday morning when she wakes up. Also, her birthday this year is on Friday the 13th, so an extra spooky boo factor. So tonight is the night that I am getting the dining prep ready for Callie's birthday party, and while I'm filming this, it is the night before her party. So I have a meeting tonight, I have a client, it's going to be busy and before she gets home from school, I wanted to show you some of the things that I'm using. This party is a family party, so it's pretty low pressure, it's a smaller crowd, Friday night is the night of her actual birthday and we're doing a Harry Potter theme to align with Halloween and then Saturday because it is Taylor Swift's movie weekend, the Eras tour as a movie uh, is coming out, has come out. So we are doing like a little Eras version of that for Callie's birthday with her friends. So we have two different themes going but one party needed to be at the house because the grandparents do not want to sit through a Taylor movie, which is just silly on their behalf. I am surprised at how small this box is and just a little bit concerned in here. This is a set, do not separate. If you are a Harry Potter fan, you will recognize these are little like plasticky tablecloths that are also supposed to look like the Marauders map on Hogwarts. I have two round tables that I'll be using and I think these are for rectangles, but we're gonna make it work. This is the rest. Normally, if you've watched any of our party plan videos, particularly for birthdays, sorry that this is so loud. I tend to go to like the dollar store and get paperware, but because we don't have like the balloon arch from our our friends at the company Elevated Impressions, like I absolutely love their work, but I didn't hire them for like a family evening. I wanted to make sure that everything aligned. So we do have these little paper cups. They say welcome wizards on them with Hogwarts. And again, the little Marauders map footprints. How many do I have here? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 feels like a random number, but we have 16. We have welcome wizard plates. I do have one other set of plates that kind of look like Slytherin, though Callie is definitely a Gryffindor, which kind of inspired this purchase because of the color pattern. I have the world's smallest amount of napkins which is interesting. 
They say old castle at the top and welcome wizards here. And then goldish plastic wear as well as some cute straws. So this I purchased myself with my own dollars. I think it'll look cute out. I'm going to use her books and like her wand and all of the Harry Potter accessories we have to kind of like stage where I'm putting out the food. I will show you the charcuterie board that I am creating and the cake that we ordered. A surprise for her is that a lovely company reached out to me on Instagram and said, we have like children's birthday party themes. If you'd like anything for your daughter's birthday, please let us know. And I asked if they had anything specific to Harry Potter or Taylor Swift. And they said, not really like whole themes, but if you see any pieces, let us know. So I saw this dragon pinata and the weather is supposed to be nice tomorrow. We have so much candy still from Disney, from going to Disney for our Halloween event. So I have more than enough to stuff this. It comes with the little pinata wackadoo wand as well as an eye mask. So I thought the little dragon was similar to one of the Triwizard Tournament tasks that Harry had to complete. So I'm gonna leave the name of this company, I believe it's Wensai, in the description box with a link to this and their whole store. Because if you're looking for like a theme that's done for you, I feel like this is the company to go to. Everything was really reasonably priced. They had super cute things. They had like a mermaid thing. Remember when we did Callie's like last day of school mermaid party? We've never had a pinata for Callie's birthday before, but her cousins always have them. So I think she'll be really excited about this. Where do I put the candy? Oh, to fill. There's a hole up here, but then if the hole's up here, oh, they have to like beat the hole. Okay, okay. And then there's a little hangy guy here. So we're gonna figure out how to attach this to the front tree. So my goal this evening is to get the chili prepped because for grownups, we're gonna do like a hearty British chili with some corn muffins apple cider. I would very much like to rim glasses with some cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice and do like an apple cider mimosa for the grown-ups, kind of like our own version of like pumpkin juice and a non-alcoholic version for the kiddos. And I'm doing a really cute charcuterie board for the kitties with all kinds of different like Harry Potter illusions, some of which I have to make. So I'm going to do that tonight as well. And I'd like to get the dining set up because I have to pick up the cake tomorrow. I still need to wrap some of her gifts. Mark needs to build her desk, which is going to be her primary present. I will show you that and include the link from where we got it below. If you are looking to host your own Harry Potter party, that's really fun to say, or any kiddo event, stay tuned. This is one of the things that I feel like I am organized enough and love to do the most. If I have a checklist for you, a little freebie, I will link it in the description box below. apologize in case the sun is dazzling you but we did bring up our second circle table from the Airbnb this is like our former dining table from a long time ago when it was just Mark and I it's much smaller though it does have a leaf that pulls out we will have I believe nine adults here tomorrow and five kids so I'm gonna put a little stool over here for the kiddos but the plan is to make this the kiddo table and this an adult option as well as our 
island and of course like the actual living room is also open for seating. I did not purchase a single prop here. We have all the books. We're currently reading the fourth one, which is why it's missing from the stack. She is from one of the Harry Potter chocolate frogs, as are these playing cards. Callie built all the little Lego guys. That's a little Harry Potter keychain Lego. We have a raven in here, and of course, Hedwig. This is going to be the kids' charcuterie board, and they'll have their drinks and plates on the table as well. And then we just have like a little cup, I suppose, of skulls and spiders. I wish I had something to elevate this on. Maybe I'll take a look and see what I have. Aren't these little baddies cute? I love them. For the adult table, this is where I'm going to put the cake on this platter. I just wanted to make sure I pulled it out. We have a Hermione bead that Callie made, another of her Lego structures, this skull from Halloween, some of the original books, and then Callie's wand from when we went to Universal this summer. And then right now the setup over here just has some Harry Potter books that we have, The Cursed Child, a spell book, and a cookbook. The plates that we just unwrapped, I also pulled these Slytherin-y ones out that Callie picked out. I will probably display them cuter, maybe, tomorrow. The napkins, kiddo cups, and then I just popped the straws into a glass container. So this little setup will work for now. I still have some tidying up to do to remove things, but I wanted to kind of get underway with the setup. Nothing elaborate, but I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out based on what we already had. I just put together the Harry Potter charcuterie board. Just wanted to show you what was on it. We have the M&Ms that Callie sorted by house color. These are fruit, but I thought they looked like the little monsters, like from Harry Potter. Like they reminded me of the little monster book. We have these Slytherin snakes, the broom sticks over here, chocolate covered pretzels, a little baby Harry ornament. These are like spooky little kitties and bats from Trader Joe's. I also have this Pocky to serve as like wands. I thought that was cute. Pirouettes, the last of the ones from Trader Joe's and some grapes. So I thought this was super cute. I'm gonna put it on the table now, show you what it looks like. Cute, right? Sorry, the light's in the same spot as it was when I was setting up. It like is streaming through this window, but I'm hoping you can see how cute that is. We put some little presents out for her. They're all Harry Potter related because her big present is the desk, which I will show you when it's ready. Oh, I forgot to put this out too. Her little Hermione headband. Apologies for the daylight, making things a little bit hard to film here. I also found these butter beers from when we went to New York last year and I bought them because we had a Harry Potter Christmas scape. So I put them out on both tables and I also added some of Callie's scrunchies out on the table because these are Harry Potter themed as well. Time to get her balloon ready. Okay, I'm not sure how to make this lighting better. Apparently the fall afternoon lighting is different than the summer lighting, for sure. Um, I have my Gryffindor headband on because I am sweating. Her desk is built, the desk drawers are in. Mark is currently at home vacuuming her floor. We had to move her bureau. And of course, that's like, oh, I wanna move her bureau, so let me dust everywhere behind it when I have six minutes to get to the bus stop. But I did blow up her balloon and I'm gonna try to position you so that you can see her getting off the bus. So I'm actually gonna reverse a little bit. I can't see anything, but that's okay. So that way she has to like come toward me when she gets off the bus so I can capture her face. Oh, 
how they're yelling happy birthday. Yeah, I know they are. Callan just asked. Bye, kids. <laughs> they're singing to you. Callan just asked. Callan just asked, is it your birthday? I was like, yes. It says so on your shirt. <laughs> happy birthday. Look at Harry. He's so cute. He's so cute. And they gave us a little head wig and a little happy birthday, Callie. I put the eight candle out there. Callie, can we look at your shirt, my little birthday yeah. girl? It's me. Hi. Hi. I'm the birthday girl. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> now we open. Ready? Yeah. I love it. You do? Yeah. It's like a really big girl room. <laughs> I love it, Mama! You do? Yeah! I think some of the presents you're getting today might be going with your desk. And I didn't set it up. I really wanted to, but I thought maybe you'd want to set it up together. I love it! I'm so glad! Happy Thank birthday! You. Daddy built it for you. Thank you, Daddy! You're very welcome. Harry Potter night was a success. The chili that I made was a bit waterier, more watery than a recipe that I normally use. So it was good, not great. The cornbread was fantastic. And the charcuterie board, what a hit. I made chocolate chip pumpkin waffles in the shape of pumpkins and called them pumpkin quaffles. Harry Potter friends, you know it. And I made our little Harry Potter charcuterie board. And when it came time for dinner for the girls, I put them at the kid table. I put out the things that they needed and they sat there. Adults went outside, it was beautiful out. We lit a fire in our solo stove and we had our little pumpkin apple cider mimosas, which were delicious with the little rim that I made on top. That was just chocolate sauce, pumpkin pie, spice and cinnamon. Super easy, took like 45 seconds to just concoct, dunk, dunk, dunk. And then I put together a spiced pumpkin apple cider mimosa for grown-ups. So we took our beverages outside around the fire and the girls sat and I thought I made too many pumpkin quaffles. They ate the entire plate. So, and the charcuterie board, the only thing left on it were a few grapes. So they really went to town. Nothing was wasted and it was all things that they really liked. I tend to like over make things, um, even just for the visuals of it. And I thought I did a better job this time, like toning it down a little bit. So that was a huge success for presents this year. I made an Amazon wish list and shared that with my family and anyone who asked me who was invited to, which we're getting to, the Taylor Swift party. Um, I didn't necessarily like volunteer that information for Taylor Swift party guests because I felt like that was presumptuous. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Um, I always want to know when going to a kiddo's birthday party or even for like family events, if we're buying gifts, what do you want and how can I elevate that to make it a little more magical? I want to give people gifts that they actually want. So because my daughter isn't really like a toy kid, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, I think usually around the holidays, Callie doesn't really play with toys. Um, she's had dolls. She uses them to sit in her bedroom and read to as an audience. She likes Legos and she loves arts and crafts. So. I made an Amazon wish list because we knew we were getting Callie a desk that she asked for. Also, like, what the heck? She's eight, and that's... That's what she asked for, okay? We had to move out her Disney Princess Castle, and I have a lot of feelings about that. It's currently right here in the office because I don't... I can't bring myself to get rid of it, so I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, anyway. Um, I made an Amazon wish list, so that way my family could get things that 
she would love that kind of go with the desk to fill up her desk with art supplies. So she was stoked. We gave her the desk in the afternoon, which you saw. Um, before her family came over, our family was here. And then when we opened presents, she was like, these colored pencils, she was so excited. So hot tip, if you're looking on a theme for gifts, or if there's something you know your children want, or you want, go ahead and make yourself a wish list somewhere and then send it to those people. It's kind of like a registry, but like send it to the people who are asking, what do you want for insert day here? And now it's time for Taylor Swift. I have definitely left less footage on this process because it really is just the gift bags and then our outfits, but I will insert some clips that were taken on my phone. Callie's little friend group made made this movie. They got up and danced, so then other girls in the audience, like kiddos and teenagers, came down to the front to dance with them. And we had, I was telling my sister, because she and I did get to go to the Taylor Swift concert, like, they built that same community that I felt at the concert at the movie. And it was, like, pretty exciting. So, a 10 out of 10 birthday weekend. I will insert the Taylor clips here. For you with some photos and then I will sign off in just a moment in my reputation outfit so stay tuned for that it's Taylor Swift day sorry about the dishwasher because we had our Harry Potter party last night but I ordered these bags that say hold on to the memories they will hold on to you and then era's tour with the date today Callie's eight era and then a concert kit these are like if you were actually going to a Taylor Swift concert, in a quote from her, but we put inside them, we made friendship bracelets to go for each of the kiddos who are coming. Callie made them. She made these little cards that say like Taylor Swift words. We have stickers that are going inside and we have custom cookies. So these are like the little gift bags for all the kiddos. I made Callie this one in my B-Day era. It's so cute. So I will show you all of our outfits and things later today, but we're just kind of getting prepped this morning. We are just home from the Eras Tour movie. This is my reputation outfit after five hours of being in it. We've got a little featheries going on here. We've got some feathers on the arms. It's a whole vibe in itself, but we had such an amazing birthday weekend. I will put all of the people who contributed to that in the description box below, but I wanted to show you one thing before we go. Okay, two things. Look what I got. This was like such a surprise. We did go to the movie. We purchased 18 tickets for Kelly's birthday and we went an hour early to make sure that we could reserve seats for all the kiddos up front. They had such a blast. I think they made it more fun for like everybody in the theater. I was saying to my sister, when we went to Taylor Swift, the community of women was incredible and then the girls made their own community. It was incredible. I am going to leave the name of the incredible artist who made Callie's cookies. She's a personal friend, small business here on Cape Cod in the description box below for you because these are spectacular. She did them in all the eras. I didn't give her specific directions. She did this all on her own. So thank you so much, Christy, for making this extra special. Thank you for being here for our Harry Potter, Taylor Swift birthday weekend. I hope you took away some great ideas for kiddo parties in the future. I love you so much. We are, sorry about the lighting here. It's nighttime, we are using completely artificial light. It is time for this makeup to come off and to get into some cozy clothing. I hope you know how much I love you and I will see you in next week's video. Bye friends.